ladies and gentlemen, now welcome today to my breakdown of the top 10 years of champions. Oh, then I am going to come back to the channel, so... Then we just become the judgment on all of the best skills. Ladies and gentlemen, now welcome today to this top 10 champions of every single one. Hello there, I'm Dan. Welcome back to the top 10 champions of every single one. Now welcome today to the top 10 champions of every single one. Now welcome today to the top 10 champions of every single one. Today, boys, we are going to be asking the greater questions. The top 10 ugliest champions. Because I saw this guy, I forgot his name, sorry dude, he did top 10 hottest champions. We don't care. We don't care about that because we got some ugly boys in this contest. And so at number 10, we have got, he's not even too ugly. Um, and some guy's going to say I'm racist to blue people. But Nightcrawler, this guy is kind of weird looking. He has three toes. He's blue. His, he, he, he has a sword. He looks like a pirate from Avatar. And yeah, he's pretty funny looking. Anyway, he's not even the ugliest of them. That's just the first champion. He's not even a great champion either. So uh, minus points if he sucks. That's a 10. Next, we have a man who rides... A thing and this man is called mole man he is not even this guy on his own in the battle he has this massive rock thing and he is very ugly it's called uh giganto jr he rides and uh well he just looks like a very short man with a stick uh like a little hobbit uh wearing some 3d sunglasses so this man is going in the ugly spot for number nine now we got number eight we're getting into the creatures of the earth. Uh, now we're going into Abomination, who is a very ugly boy. I don't even know where I have this boy. Here he is. And as you can see, he is looking very nasty. He's like the Hulk with more spikes and stuff. And he isn't looking very nice. Um, but yeah, he's the uglier version of the Hulk. And his ears, he looks like some sort of ancient Greek green warrior. So yeah, not a very nice looking guy, and he sucks as well. So all these three champions so far have kind of sucked, and aren't very good as well. So minus points, boys. But at number seven, I am going to go with Man Thing. And I have this guy as a five star, unfortunately, because he's very annoying on defense, but he is very ugly. Look at this man, he's literally got sewage and like tree trunks all over him. And this posture is awful. Look at this man. Ew! He's hunched over and he's got tentacles on his face. So we all know why this guy is at number seven. He probably could be even higher up the list, but for now he's number seven. Now at number six, we have Captain America's greatest foe. And that is the man, the myth, the legend, Red Skull. Now, this guy is called Red Skull because literally he has a Red Skull. He is also a Nazi, so he is a very bad character and he also sucks in the game. Kind of a cool kit he's got or whatever. But, um, yeah, he's just a, a Nazi whose face, his flesh got ripped off and now he's got a Red Skull and he's very ugly looking. And he just keeps laughing, but there is no noise, so it just looks like he's got some problem with his head and it's just wobbling around. So, Red Skull number six. Six. We have Spider-Man's greatest foe, who is still in the skill class, and that is Green Goblin. As you can see, there's quite a commonality with green things here. Um, and look at this guy, man. Terrible posture as well. You know, terrible posture is minus 10 points, in my opinion. Um, and uh, he's got some nasty, nasty skin there. He's going to need a bit of uh, a bit of cream to get that bit hydrated. And uh, his, his hat is... It's like a mind of its own. I don't know what's going on there. If his head's just that long. Um, but yeah, he literally looks like a goblin. And uh, he's got some rusty ass looking uh, pouch on his side. So yeah, Green Goblin is at uh, number five there. But at number four, we have Ebony Moore. So that rhymes. That's great. At number four, we have Ebony Moore. And where is this boy? Look at this Squidward looking ass. As Tony Stark would say himself, rest in peace, sir. But my God, look at this guy. 
even the way he's holding his hands, he looks evil. And uh, yeah, he's just floating around with this Squidward looking ass face. Some nasty looking hair. He's like an, a, a thousand year old granddad uh, from space. Practically skinny looking ass as well. He's got good posture, so I'll give him some extra points. That's a 10. He's very ugly and underwhelming. And unfortunately for a lot of these characters, the ugly characters seem to, so, um, seem to suck. Um, so yeah, that's unfortunate. Anyway, Ebony Moore, number four. At number three, Venom the Duck. So this guy is a combination of Venom and Howard the Duck. And Howard the Duck's already as annoying as hell with his quacks, man. But my God, look at this guy. He's literally got for hands and his face. It's just a massive claw. It just looks like he's got blood and it's like the inside of a mouth and he's just sitting inside of this venom thing. It's just so disgusting. Why did Kabam put this in the game? We move. So number two, we have got a very newly added character who I was able to get as a three star. And that is Immortal Abomination. So he's, he's quite similar to Venom Duck in many ways. Because look at him, he's just spiky ass, big face, two headed, claw hand. I hate the way they just move around his fingers. And yeah, he is a monstrosity, a very obvious monstrosity. He's not too bad as a character, though, so that means he gets uh, a few more points. But he is very ugly, man, and he is terrible posture as well. Once again, what is with this awful posture? I don't know what's going on. But at number one, now it was close between him and number one, but I had to give number one to the fattest, most ugly mojo. This guy is disgusting. I mean, come on. He literally has claw legs, this big spear tail like scorpion, ugly ass fingernails, fat ass stomach, and he looks evil as hell. Even his hair is like dreadlocks, but wires. He's just so ugly and creepy, I swear. People probably get nightmares from this guy. Like, if this guy jump scared you in a movie, you'd be scared. So, um, that really wraps it up, boys. Top 10 ugliest champions in MCOC. Obviously, this is a flippin' parody because of all the uh, top 10 stuff going on right now and people saying there's a competition or something. But I don't really care because... Uh, sorry, boys, I just realised I forgot one of the ugliest champions in the game, and that is the boy Modoc. I don't want to make this game competitive. It is just a mobile video game. So that's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.